Hello guys, welcome to my new Lewis tutorial series. In this first video, what we're going to be doing is creating the structure for our very first add-on. So to begin, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to the drive at which you have Gary's Mod installed. You go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, Add-ons. And here you'll see a list of all the add-ons that you have installed. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and create a new folder. When you're creating this folder, make sure that you don't use any capitals or spaces. It's recommended that you use lowercases and dashes and underscores. So um, in this case, we're going to call this add-on whatever you want. I'm just going to call it my add-on. Okay. And then inside our new add-on folder, we're going to create another folder, which is going to be Lua. And inside Lua, we will have auto run. Okay. And then inside auto run server, and then one more folder client. Okay. So to recap what we just did, we have the name of our add on Lua auto run server and client. So Outside, in this current directory right here, we have our shared code. So in here, we're going to create a file, which is going to represent our shared code for this add-on. Whenever you're creating a file, you want to make sure that the name is unique and that the name is not going to clash with other names. This is only whenever you're coding inside auto run. So for example, if you have something called sh underscore config and then another add-on has sh underscore config, they're going to clash and you're going to run into problems. So the best bet is to just do sh and then the name of your add-on. Um, so sh for shared, yes. And then same rules apply for the server and client. We'll do sv underscore my add-on and then client. Okay, so now that we have these files set up, we're gonna go ahead and just open them up. So we have our server side code, our client side code, and our shared code. So if we create any functions inside this shared code, we want to make sure we are able to access those functions in both the server and the client realm. So this is our server realm. This is our client. What we want to do is we want to include the uh, shared realm into our server. So how we do that is we say auto run slash sh underscore my add on dot Lua. Okay, then the same rules apply here for our client. We're going to do auto run slash sh my add on dot Lua. So now that we have the shared file included in both the client and the server, anything that we create can be accessed in both realms. Anything that's created in the client realm can only be accessed in the client realm. Anything that's created in the server realm can only be accessed by the server realm. I'll get more into detail about that later. Uh, but for now, that's how we structure our very first add-on. And the next few videos, we're going to get into actually full detail of making a fully fledged add-on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe and just leave a nice comment. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will definitely be responding to every single question. So thank you guys. Take care.